Good morning! I am back in my van after an excellent paddling adventure. As much as I would love to just go paddling again right away, I one, need to let my body rest, and two, I have some renovations I would like to actually get through before the end of summer. Today I'm going to tackle actually getting this countertop that you are sitting on. Uh, securely attached in place which is scary and so I have anticipated a problem I might face when securing my countertop and that is that the countertop is a hardwood and the framing is cedar which is really soft and I've already noticed when building with cedar that to crank things down really tight to each other um, the screw really pulls through the cedar and I feel like that will especially be the case when trying to go into something hard. I worry that the screw will pull all the way through the cedar without sucking down the two surfaces. So I've come up with a plan I'm going to try that I think will help prevent this issue. So it's taken just a little bit of trial and error to get everything sorted. But these, uh, these washers are 9 16 across. So I'm using the 5 8 drill bit and then I can actually get it in the hole. So I've actually taped it off so I only will go in as deep as uh, I need because uh, it's pretty easy for it to, to just press a bit hard and you're all the way through. So I do that then I pre-drill the hole through the cedar into the teak and so this uh, is short enough that it won't, it hits this, it won't go all the way through this. And then I put the washer in and screw. And then what happens is, I don't know if you can see there, is the washer actually bends because of the hole, but the screw doesn't push through the cedar. And I can get a nice snug fit. Also, it's very hot. I am so thankful for the shade. I have my moon shade up and the wall here. So as the sun moves around, like this whole area will stay shady all day. So I can keep working even though it's really hot. It was drilling fine before and now it's not. And it's smoking. The wood is black. Oh, it is too hot out to do this. That's freaking weird. Okay, I'll just keep trying. <laughs> Ready to go. Huh. I had it the wrong way. <laughs> so I was turning left and I was pressing it in. <laughs> snug and secure. So next I'm going to be attaching this end piece here to support the countertop because it is a laminate and I don't want it to risk it bending. And so I don't have to hold this here awkwardly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually clamp it to another piece and then that will hold it in place while I attach it with hardware, which I haven't used so far this project, but this little bit does call for it. Alright, so there has been a few times during this project that have been pretty nerve-wracking 
And they pretty much all had to do with this countertop. And this is the last big nerve wracking one, which is going to be drilling the pilot holes and then affixing it to the frame. <laughs> and then I can drive and I don't have to move it around and stuff. So that's very exciting. Oh, so I got uh, three screws in and they haven't gone through the top and it sucked down the countertop so that's really good. my countertop completely in place it's so secure it's sucked down to the frame nothing came through the top I am so proud of myself for designing this whole setup on my own building it and then anticipating the potential issue of securing a hardwood to a very soft wood and coming up with a solution before I messed up to make it all work. So I am so stoked. So the next thing I'm working on is in here, there has to be an interior wall between the drawer section and where all like my uh, pots and pans and stuff will go. And look what I've come up with to figure out how to get the drawer slides even on both sides. I just have it sitting on this two by six on both sides. That should be good enough. It should be pretty level and pretty even with each other. And then what I'm going to do is then I'm going to put these just to make a little barrier so things can't slide from there into here and get in the way of the drawers. I think that's a pretty simple and elegant solution. Uh, that should serve its purpose and uh, if not I can redesign later but it feels good to like kind of like feel like things are moving along at a quicker pace now that I've done like the hard work in the initial framing of like preparing for all these steps. <laughs> Wave construction. Look at you. You could be inside being comfortable and you're out here supervising. You're so dedicated to the job, Frank. I hope you had a good time inside. I love you, bud. Who remembers my tiny Napa hammer? <laughs> it is going to be the perfect thing for this little job. Okay.
Well, I got a lot more done than I expected today. I'm very pleased with my progress in the heat, <laughs> but I am so stoked to be sitting at my desk working with it actually attached. I've worked it here a couple times, but like it wasn't finished, didn't have the hard wax oil on, it wasn't fixed in place. This is my permanent work location and it's going to be hours until it's cool enough for me to comfortably sleep. So I'm just going to work on editing. Yeah, Frank is in the bed, cozy, sleeping. I am not in his way. I can watch him sleep while I work. Yeah, that is it. And um, by the time I wake up tomorrow, it's going to be hot. <laughs> And I'm going to keep working on this. Yes, I'm very stoked and I'm just going to hang out tonight and edit until it's cool enough to sleep. So I will see you in the morning. Good morning. If you want to go for a little walk today, we got to go soon before it gets hot, Frank. Lately, I've really been enjoying getting up early. It's so nice paddling when the lake is calm and it's quiet. But now with this heat, uh, it's the only way to get out for a walk with Frank. Yeah, he's very happy to be out walking now that I got him out of bed. At first he was a little, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's a beautiful morning. It's nice and quiet out here. And the neighborhood is quiet, so we can enjoy the forest here without hearing the sounds of what everyone's up to, which shortly will include me using power tools. So I am part of it. I get that. But uh, yeah, it's uh, Saturday, so it's still pretty quiet out here. <laughs> mm. I was just thinking about how hungry I was getting. <laughs> mm. Speaking of hunger, you know what I'm always hungry for? Skills. I absolutely love learning new skills and over the years I have saved so much money learning to do things for myself and I feel like it builds a lot of character and there's instances where learning to do things for myself allows me to have a better end product than if I paid someone else to do it and tried to to communicate exactly what I wanted, which is why I am such a big fan of today's sponsor, Skillshare. If you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start from photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing, productivity, woodworking, sewing, and all sorts of other fine arts, and much, much more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. So whether you're interested in making a career pivot or leveling up your skills in your current role, Skillshare is a great resource for freelancers and entrepreneurs to help you learn new skills to support your growing side hustle or launch into a totally new career. Recently, Frank started his own Instagram account and so he's hopped on Skillshare and taken the course called Video for Instagram, Tell an Engaging Story in Less Than a Minute by Hales Narvez. And I gotta tell you, his reels are really good. He, they perform even better than mine and his account is way smaller. So it really helps that Skillshare is ad free. So there's no distractions. You can just stay in the zone and focus on learning. And there's new premium classes launched each week. So there's always something new to discover. If you're interested in checking out Skillshare, the first 1000 people to use the link in the description below will get a one month free 
trial of Skillshare. I highly recommend you join the community there and see what's available and see how it can benefit your life because I have definitely seen a lot of benefits in my life from growing my skill set. So without further ado, let's get back to the build and me doing something I've never done before. I guess I got a little carried away with the cutting because I am low in that corner and a little low in this corner but also the countertop has a slight bow to it because I did not store it properly. I'm gonna trim this end. It is hot. It is very hot. It is hard to do this kind of finicky stuff. We're getting close. I just gotta finish the, uh, getting that to fit and then I can stain all the pieces. I have a stain that's pretty much the same color as this when it's waxed. So I'm at a point where I would really like this to be done. But I don't want to rush it and I want this to be purple. <laughs> I have to do a cut first though. Um, what this is going to be is uh, I have like a cubby. It's just going to have a curtain. It's going to have like pots and stuff. So I need like a little safety wall so things can't like slide out. Uh, so I just did those cuts on that saw. And then I'm going to use the skill saw to like join them. <laughs> That way I can clamp and I don't have to handsaw. the supervisor too hot to uh, leave the shade of the work area you're doing a great job Frank wonderful spectacular bud spectacular so this piece of plywood here I cut it from one of the old doors sliding doors on the unit I pulled out of here at the start of this project uh, I'm trying to make use of the old materials. I haven't done a lot of that so far, but I have a bunch of ideas coming up that will make use of them. And then what I don't use, I will squirrel away for who knows what ideas I come up with in the future or what else gets built around here. So, oh, it's like drying faster than I can paint it on. That is something I've experienced before. The last two days of building in the heat have really taken it out of me and then I've been up late editing because it's just hard to do that kind of work in the heat. And this morning it was like a nice temperature. I slept until 9.30. It's pretty warm out now but I don't think as hot as the last two days and so I've just been having the laziest morning in my bed. It's like drinking coffee and having chocolate. It's a Sunday so like so many people I enjoy have put out videos today and I'm in no rush to do anything productive and once I'm done watching videos I might just have to clean up my construction mess and go do something a little more fun because I'm just not inspired to build. 
There's a new video by Wild We Roam today, so I'm gonna watch somebody else build. <laughs> it's actually pretty level. I'm happy with that. Well, I'm out for a drive, a little bit unplanned. I meant to take Frank for a swim. And there was people where I wanted to go. So I kept driving. I found a spot, I let him get wet to cool down. It just wasn't great for hanging out because there was a lot of flies. So I decided to keep driving. And then I went down a road I've never been down. And that was a little while ago and I just keep driving and there's all these forks and spurs and I just don't really care. I'm just out exploring. Uh, right now I'm trying to decide between left or right. I think I'm gonna go left. I don't know what I'll find. I don't know what's down here. I've never looked at this area on a map. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of traffic, but the road's not horrible. It's narrow, but so far so good. So if it gets heinous, I'll just turn back. I don't know. Who knows what we'll find? <laughs> I was thinking this spur was a little undriven. I hit the end of it pretty quick. But you know, I figure at the least, if I don't find anything fascinating out here, uh, I'll at least know not to come back. But more importantly, it's a good test run of my build to uh, go romping and uh, just like, yeah, drive some rough roads and bounce around a bit. Anyways, it's just clear cuts. So we'll see what's down the other way. <laughs> So I've looked at this mountain before, but from down there at the end of the road. Well, there started to be cross stitches and the cross stitches got worse. And one of the last ones was pretty rough. So I got to this wide part of the road where I could actually turn around because that is one of the dangers of back roading in this van is that I can get to places that I can't turn around and it leads to long backing outs or really stressful attempts at turning around. So I stopped, I walked up the road, it ends in like half a kilometer or it becomes impassable for my van, appears to end, but um, somebody who's like kind of reckless with a 4x4 like might consider go going forward. So yeah, that's it for this side of the valley. So I got back from my drive and I'm pleased to say that everything held together really well. I didn't get footage of the roughest parts of the road and my tires all stayed on the ground so I have driven rougher but I felt like it was a pretty good test of the places I tend to drive as I am a little bit more back road conservative than I used to be. I used to be a bit bit too wild for my own good I think but um, I've just been tinkering away on the van since. I still have to build drawers. I'm gonna wait to do that uh, when I do the electrical and I have some components for that in the mail. So I'm about to take off in a couple days just to go on a road trip and just settle into the van and uh, just enjoy some hiking and paddling and that kind of stuff. But I built a bookshelf here behind me and I'm stoked on it. I used the countertop that I took out of here uh, from my old desk 
to build that. I didn't film it or anything, but it's nice to have that in place. It makes it feel a lot homier. And for the first time ever, I have my books out and not tucked into a ca uh, cupboard, like kind of piled in. So that feels really good. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed coming along with a little bit of some different things and I really appreciate you watching so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already I'll be back with more next Sunday and we'll see you soon bye